Don't look now, but Zillow's mammoth momentum just keeps going. Love them, hate them, they're here to stay and continue to push the innovative envelope when it comes to real estate. With 90 million unique users every month, there's just nobody that comes close to their market share. Last year we sounded the alarm that these guys are taking over and it kind of fell on deaf ears and I get it. Nobody wants to hear the harsh truth that Zillow can pretty much do whatever they want and NAR, the old giant, has to sit idly by and watch. The air in NAR and everyone else's thinking was that they were untouchable and could never really take over. Well, they did and continue to do so. They even dropped a new book last week called The New Rules of Real Estate. Interesting enough, Inman dropped an article last week as well echoing our previous comments stating Zillow's here to stay and here's why. The Inman article looks into the psyche of the consumer and why they trust Zillow over a realtor. It's a pretty interesting read and we'll post the article down below. Now hear me, I am not saying NAR is dead and realtors are phased out. I'm just saying there's a new sheriff in town and the rules that we've all lived by are about to change and will continue to change no matter how much you shake your head or bury it in the sand. These guys are killing it and there's nothing we can do to stop it. Now my takeaway from the Inman article is consumers just want access to information. Now that shouldn't surprise anyone, that's literally how every other industry works. Music, books, shopping, cars, they've all been modernized to a one-stop shop website that gives you the information you need for free, mind you, so you don't have to talk to the pushy car salesman or deal with the lines at the mall or buy the entire CD when you just want one song. Now, we all would hope that society would place a little more value in home shopping and the massive mortgage tied to it, and some do, but the overall movement is the same as every other industry. Quick access to information and limited contact by a real person. It's kind of interesting too because the result, if you haven't noticed, is a severe lack of social skills and customer service in our society. We just don't interact as much as we used to and as a result, our social skills are lacking to say the least, hashtag text or email me. NAR and Realtors, as much as you hate it, you need to read and listen to the Edmund article that make great points. Zillow's branding is spot on. Heck, when the president of the free frickin' world wanted to conduct a forum on the current housing market, did he call NAR? Nope, he called Zillow for goodness sake. And Zillow's social media presence crushes the old giant NAR and Realtor.com. I mean, Zillow doubles Realtor.com's Twitter followers and they absolutely crush them in Facebook likes. Check it out, Zillow has 1.3 million to Realtor.com's 97,000. Heck, our friends at the lighter side of real estate have almost as many followers as Realtor.com. That's pretty crazy and kudos to the lighter side. Zillow creates good, relevant, progressive content for the consumer. A great comment from the article is when they pointed out that Zillow's relevant content on where rents are highest in the US and tips for selling a home in the winter and their updated app versus Realtor.com's most recent post that mentioned a bunch of celebrity homes. Then they asked the relevant question, how does this help the consumer? Good point and kind of funny, really. Again, guys, hear me, I am on your side. Heck, I am one of you trying to submit my place in this ever-changing market. We aren't saying NAR is dead or realtors are gone. We are saying that we have to realize that this market just made a massive shift and NAR and realtor.com, you have to accept the fact that Zillow is doing several things better than you and that may sting to hear, but it's true. I liken it to MySpace and Facebook. Now, MySpace was first to the social media game, but the new sheriff in town came in and made it bigger, better, and faster, and Facebook is here to stay while MySpace is doing God knows what. We will always need realtors and loan officers. However, Zillow is the new giant, and they are and will continue to gain market share and control the consumer. Don't get it twisted. That will affect us, all of us. Question is, what do we do about it? How can we adapt? And if you're NAR and Realtor.com, what do you need to do to keep pace? And lastly and most importantly, I hope you're not burying your head in the sand on this or ignoring their reality at hand. That, that would be a mistake. Hey, the real estate world isn't coming to an end, it's just changing. It evolved, really. Matter of fact, it's evolving right before our eyes. I don't know about you, but this guy wants to be a part of it, not on the sideline watching it. How about you? Facebook is here to stay while mouse, mouse space. I liken it to MySpace and Facebook. MySpace was, I liken it to say MySpace and Facebook. My face was, my face, yeah. is that what I said? Yeah. Outtake. I liken it to MySpace and Facebook. My face, that's funny. Yeah, Somebody should like come up with that. Dot com.